Work on yourself to contribute to others. That's the topic for today. Work on yourself to contrib contribute to others, and that will help you grow your business. So I'm going to expand on that. Not just, you know, you've heard, you know, maybe you've heard a saying, uh, Einstein, I believe, said this, like, what is our purpose uh, or something similar to that? And that is to serve others. Now, I'm not talking about you're going out there and volunteering your time to make our world a better place. You can do that. That's great. I'm talking about the business side of things. So today, just didn't want to say, oh, Tony's going all uh, out on uh, serving the public and making the world a better place. That's great. But how can working on yourself contribute to others and grow your business all at the same time? So with in real estate, when I train new agents, explain to agents daily, many agents every day, reminding them of this, this is a long-term process is building a business. When you're talking to uh, contacts and potential clients in your database and the people you know in your sphere of influence, there's, they're not going to be buying or selling a house now. Now, if you don't work on yourself and help contribute to their lives or in their real estate lives between today or the day you start talking with them and start to build a relationship with them to the time they're ready to buy or sell, they're not going to use you if you don't contribute something to them between, again, the time you start with them and meet them and build and put them on your database to the time they're ready to buy or sell, they're not going to use you. But if you contribute something, if you work on yourself and work on your skills and work on your, your value to people before they're buying or selling. So you, if you're sitting there right now, little tip, write down all the value you give to people that are not ready to buy or sell a house now? What value to give them in real estate world? So I'll give you a few things to think about. One, if someone owns a house, very simple, this is simple. If they own a house, you give them value from the day you meet them till, the, you, till they're ready to sell that house is what their current value is, what's happening in the market, what's happening in the interest rates, what, you know, what, you know, giving them information on what improvements they might be doing to the house between the time you meet them to the time they uh, sell that house. Example, when you're talking to people, one of the things, I mean, there's so many different ways, and I just want to keep this video semi short. One of the things, yeah. You tell every single person that owns a house, please do not do any type of renovations into your house until you call me. Don't do it. Call me. Number one reason. I'd be happy to give you the value, the resale value of that improvement and what's happening in your market. Example, you redo your kitchen. You want to uh, put in an addition. You want to put in a pool. Uh, you want to do some landscaping. Call you. You are the value give people is that you know the value. Just like someone would say to their investment uh, professional, uh, and you want to buy a stock or inv invest in some type of uh, mutual fund or something like that, who you're going to just do it? Or if you know somebody who's been calling on you and call, hey, don't buy a stock or a mutual fund or invest your money in any type of interest bearing account until you call me. And I'll help you analyze that. What value are you giving to people right there? You're working on yourself to contribute to them, to show them value before they're ready to sell. There's so many different angles. So contact me, and I'm happy to go over there. Now, people that are buying, tell them, and we're, depend upon the situation, are they living in another house? You're back to that they own that house and you know as a seller. Two, if they're just buyers, first-time home buyers, say they're, they're renting now. Hey, by the way, you're renting now. Just remember, anytime your rent goes up or before you renew your lease, 
call me. Let me tell you where they're at. Because sometimes, example, I have information about the rental market, and sometimes people get I see get catch clients that don't call me and find out that the places that they're renting increase their rent way too much of what the average rent prices are and help them negotiate that. Some people just sign, you know, when their lease is up and they just, and they raise the rent, they just assume it just, that's the way it is. But sometimes in a market, that's too high. The, and we can show them, hey, look at these rentals in the area that rented out or are on the market for rentals. And they're, they're lower than yours. That's not your market. So again, when someone's renting, do not renew your lease before you call me. I'm your real estate advisor. I'm here to give you advice and help you for free to contribute to you, right? If you have any problems with your landlord or, or owner of your home, call me. Maybe I have some advice for you about what you can do or who you could call, maybe an attorney or, or what's happening in the market. Some we, I catch people, we have agents. I catch family and friends sometimes that are renting and they go, oh, my this or that. I'm like, that's not the law. They have to fix that. Or why are you putting up with that? Or uh, I just signed my neat lease and they raised my rent $200 and I didn't want to lose the place and didn't realize that they have right, you know, the, some, uh, not rights, but they have some bargaining tools. They have, in, I'll give them information. I'm like, your $200 a, a month increase is way too high for the market. The market's only showing this and you power the, uh, them with information. So that's what I wanted to go over today. I'm sorry it took a little bit longer than I want to today, but reach out to me. I'm happy to talk to you. I'll put Go on my calendar, tonytalk.net, and we will we'll work on things that you contribute to your people, your database, between the time they are on your database and in your radar and to follow up with to the time they're ready to buy or sell. And we'll, I'll give you lots of great ideas and things to say and do to show value. That's it for today. Have a wonderful day, a great week, and hope to talk to many of you very soon. Bye-bye.